And this is a little uh, video um, about what's called a shiny app in R. So you need the R language for this. In the description or comments or whatever they call it on YouTube, um, I'll give a URL from which you can get that app. Um, okay, so this is what you see when you first launch the app. Um, what it's showing you here, this is sort of the sky. So if you were looking up at the sky, and if this were the north direction and this the south, in the east and west directions, um, then if the if something were directly overhead, it would be at the center of the diagram. That's how to read this diagram. Um, there are two things shown here in, um, in these colors. I'm going to call this one red. One is for sun and one is for moon. Um, if you're colorblind, this first one I'm calling red. This one I'm calling kind of yellow or something. Um, okay, and that's what these two traces are. And the hours here are the times of day. It's in a 24-hour you know, scheme. Okay, so I have no clue about daylight savings time and all that other stuff. I mean, no clue. Um, I'm I'm pretty sure that I'm giving this in local time though. So this is saying that in local time, the sun rises at about eight o'clock in Halifax. On it starts on today's date, so on January the thirteenth. All right, so I don't know. I mean, I wake up long before that. I have no idea. I don't pay attention to it, to be honest, when the sun comes up. I think it comes up at maybe seven. So, but again, I have no idea this idiotic daylight time and standard time and all that. So you're not, you, you need to figure that out yourself. Okay, so basically this is showing the trace. So the, the, the sun rises in the east, right? Well, no, no, it doesn't rise in the east. It rises in different places at different days of the year. And you can choose the day of the year. Well, I'll go by month. Okay, first off, I'll tell you what these controls are. <clears throat> this is the year minus 2020. So we're in the year 2024. So I'm, uh, it's selected four for me for that. All right, so now I'm gonna click um, and I'm gonna go by one month. So the first one was January, which I'm on now. And this is February. And I want you to look at just the red one. It's the lower trace right there. Um, now we're getting into whatever the next month is. Okay, between month three and four, I'll go back to month three and now I'll just increment the days a little bit, going back a little bit. Okay, so this is telling me that the sun rises exactly in the east on on the, like maybe around the 21st of March or something. And if, you, if you're like a, whatever, a horoscope person or astronomy person or just maybe a farmer, you'll know um, about the special names for days when the sun rises in different locations. Um, okay. The uh, yellow line is the trace of the moon, and uh, oh, and um, and I start at time like uh, zero hour or something, and uh, so that's what you're seeing here, and so it goes up to um, six, and then seven, eight, nine, la 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 la, la up until sixteen, it's below the horizon. That's what that means. It's the same way with the sun, right? Like after nineteen hundred or so, the sun is now be is below the horizon. Okay, so that's that. Um, if you do this thing, you may, uh, and this is, uh, I've just modified an, another thing to make this app. And um, it has things that shows you if the day is an eclipse and whatnot. So you might see other text showing up maybe over here or down here or some damn place um, if it notices some certain things that, that I found of interest. Um, and I used to have a thing where it would draw a picture of the moon, but I've removed that for this case. Um, okay. Is this interesting to you? I have no idea. Let's change locations. You can try different locations. I'll try Honolulu, mainly because we've got a storm here and cold weather. Um, and Honolulu might be nice. So this is what Honolulu looks like uh, at the moment. Maybe I'll close that things because I'm not interested in, in, in that right now. Um, all right, so let's see, let's go through the days. I'm just clicked on the bottom one and I'm using the arrow. So I'm going to forward a day and, um, oh, wait a sec, I guess it's, uh, yeah, it saves the day from what I just had. Um, actually, let me go back to, what the heck are we at? Um, I don't think I'll bother changing this, but um, right. So this is today's date in Honolulu. I'm going to go forward a day. Sorry, that was a month. I'm going to go forward a day, clicking on that and clicking the mouse. I just find it easier to click the arrows than to manipulate the mouse. Um, that's the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, 17th. You'll notice that the sun isn't changing, sun location isn't changing very much, but then the moon location uh, is. 
now, and so that's interesting. The moon also doesn't rise in the east, it rises in some other location. And the other is, um, if you're interested in, um, okay, so noon would be at, I don't know, 11, 12, 13 o'clock, just depending on these crazy local times and so forth. But, um, um, and by the way, it's saying, it, this is telling you the UTC time. This is not the local time. It's saying that the moon would be 43% full there. Um, so if you're interested in the moon and the sun, maybe you're interested in tides, um, this little thing might be useful to you. Right, that's what I wanted to show you. Thanks for watching. Um, take care. Bye-bye.